me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, Keeping with the theme of the weekend, I've never heard this song. I've <laughs> <laughs> never heard it, but I don't really know it. So we're just going to wing it, and I'm going to shorten it by half. Um, can you hold that? Sure. So, let's change position so oh, I'm over here. Now I'm crew again. <laughs> All right. Can you all hear this thing? Yeah. 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 All right. Um. Sing. Okay. These parts feel are as full. Feel it. Okay. Yeah, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want more clear instructions? Yes. <laughs> we don't do be those a matter here. of wage. <laughs> It's called what it, it's called what little kindness. <laughs> Can you really hear this? sat down at a table, laid his forehead on his arms, skin like coffee, hair like coal, a long way from the farm, come a long road open, open to fish for gold, fish for gold. On the docks all day, Hoping some skipper needs a hand Hoping to find a berth Get some grub, earn a steak and leave dry land Start of every season They walk in here at dusk Duffel full of bluff and hope They get a cup of joe, then let it rust Cut to the chorus What if that kid's Jesus? Who the hell would ever know? It might be turning loaves and fishes. How little kindness would we show? These days people come from all around the world just to pack fish. Must be hungry back their way. Who hunts people anyway? And who comes into my shop looking for some bone tired kid? So worn down from trying, he just zipped his coat up right on his head. So he can close his eyes and hope he doesn't wake up dead. He doesn't wake up dead. It's Jesus, who the hell would ever know, might be turning loaves and fishes, with little kindness would we show. Well, I don't know who called immigration, but when I looked up there were two. They were standing over that boy saying, Open up your coat, please. Put your hands in plain view. I said, gentlemen, it's closing time. You can stay or you can go. But if you're troubling my customers, there's one thing I'd like to know. When that boy you're hunting finds you, tell me, what kindness will he show? What kindness will he show? What if that kid's Jesus? Who the hell would ever know? Might be turning loaves and fishes, but little kindness would we show? What a little kindness, what 
little kindness would we show? What little kindness would we show? My name is Meezy Hermanson. Um, I'm going to see if I can do this one from memory. It's called Navigation. In navigational terms, they say your outstretched fist is equivalent to approximately 10 degrees. I wonder how many fists it will take to change the course of our season. We fight the inlet tide using cut lines so we don't have to pick up at slack water. We hope the upcoming floods reward us. We fight the storms, launching our skiffs through angry breakers, seeking a harvest among the peaks and troughs. We hope the winds reward us. We fight ourselves, ignoring bumps and bruises, sore muscles and smashed fingers. We hope our stubbornness will be rewarded. We fight for our existence. The highly polar and politicized fish wars have many calling for our demise. We hope our long history in the face of sustained runs will be rewarded. Hang on a second. <laughs> back up here. No, I got it. I got it. I'm often asked why I keep fishing. Why fight each season? I'm not sure how to answer someone who doesn't already understand. It's like trying to explain something using the wrong half of a foreign language dictionary. All I know is how adrift I would feel without fishing. They say your heart is approximately the size of your fist. That seems fitting for it is with your heart that you truly fight through this world. And so I continue to chart my course, tide after tide, season after season, fist after fist, hoping my heart stops before the fishing does. Listen to the crash of the surf, the heartbeat of inertia pulsing, where ocean meets earth, where sea meets soul, welcome to church, beings of water returning to the place of their birth. Listen to mountains when they speak, spindrift sun painted gold waving flags from their peaks, telling tales of time before time measured glaciers retreat, and long before mortal men drug hooks through shadows at their feet. Listen to the forest seen through the trees, the connection we share through the air that we breathe, to this planet, to each other, a tapestry bursting at the seams, woven together through our thoughts and our dreams. Listen to the humpback's trumpeting breath, to the pitter-patter plopping of herring pirouettes, chased by salmon, torpedoes shooting up from the depths, for the circle of life is also a circle of death. Listen to wisdom, warnings, whispers on the wind, echoes of knowledge long forgotten we all carry within, 
buried beneath all this distraction. Shh. Listen to the slow grinding of the world as it turns on an axis of love in our hearts as it burns. When we push past the fear and learn how to trust and realize our differences don't define us. Like this dirt, this river, this sea and this sky, the symbiotic relation we all need to survive. Like the sun feeds the plankton, feeds the herring, feeds the whale. Every link in the chain, only linked if all links prevail. The boundless brilliance of diversity is blowing on the wind in our sails. If we would just listen. Thanks. first. So um, I'm going to read what Hello wrote. God's Pocket. There's an island up north out in, the, in Queen Charlotte Sound that the trollers know well when they're Prince Rupert bound. When the easterly gale scuds the clouds across the sun and whitecaps come crashing to God's Pocket they run. Oh, the entrance is narrow, and the anchorage is deep. Boats wrapped up together while the deckhands do sleep. And the skippers drink coffee as the cabin lights burn. And he dreams of tomorrow, God's pocket is stern. The fishing drags on through the calm and the storm, and the tonnage adds up as a crew dreams of home. When the season is over, the fish dies below, when darkness falls early, to God's pocket they go. Well, the entrance is narrow and the anchorage is deep, boats raft up together while the deckhands do sleep. And the skipper drinks coffee as the cabin lights burn, and he dreams of tomorrow, God's pocket is turned. Then up the morning, at the first light of dawn, across the wide channel, the trollers have gone. And the island lies lonely with the rocks and the wind. God's pocket remembers all the sailors within. You're in God's pocket now. Yeah. 